How are you guys doing? Good. You're watching the Mystery Hour, and you may have, this may have been following a sporting event, and you're like, there is no mystery, and I'm pretty sure it's a half hour. <laughs> Stick with us. You might like it. We do have great guests tonight. We have Cindy Ryshevsky from the City Council. Yeah. yeah. We also have the music of a band named Spinrad. It just sounds cool. It sounds cool. We also have a great organization we wanted to feature due to a generous donation from BKD and Lathrop and Gage. Our title sponsor tonight is The Network. Check it out. I'm so Springfield that the city named a street after me. Oh yeah? I'm so Springfield that Andy's named a concrete after me. Oh yeah? I'm so Springfield, I let John Q. Hammonds name my face. Weird's good. Uh, hey, uh, we have some more going on tonight. Of course, I have my beautiful sidekick over here, Dave Smith. Everyone say hi to Dave. <laughs> hey, Dave, I can't help but notice there is an easel behind you. Yes. And I think we have someone. Yeah, my buddy Gary's here. Gary Bedell. Yeah. Great illustrators. Yeah. Gary, step into the light a little yeah, bit get, over get here. It. There you go. Can, can you see him now? And uh, Gary is going to be live illustrating the show. And we're going to see how it goes at the end of the show. We'll see if he has something awesome, but I bet he will. All right, let's move on to Things I've Noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. These things yeah. I've noticed. All These right. things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. These things I've noticed. All right, all right, all right. All right. These things I've no ah, this tastes like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, things I've noticed. Here we go. I've noticed that I keep my spare car key in the center console of my car. It seems like the last place a burglar would look. <laughs> <clears throat> I've noticed that my level of tiredness can be measured in direct proportion to the frequency of verbalized anger I display toward inanimate objects. <laughs> Get out of my way, couch! Is something I said last week. I've noticed that goldfish crackers are to daycare what cigarettes are to prison. It's true. I've noticed that if I was a villain to Spider-Man, I would entrap him by setting up recycling in a garage because spiders can't resist that. <laughs> no one recycles, dang it. <laughs> I could tell if you guys cared about the earth by how much you laughed at that crappy joke. I've noticed that hell is forever sitting on a blanket that you are trying to pull out from under you. <laughs> and finally, I've noticed that Sherwin-Williams Paints is less of a store name and more of an answer to the question, what does Sherwin do for a living? <laughs> Sherwin-Williams Paints. Things I've noticed. And now it's time for more Unnecessary News with the Unnecessary News Network. Good evening, I'm Sarah Jenkins. And I'm Jeff Hogan, and you're watching the Unnecessary News Network. Gas station Come and Go issued a public apology for a bad gas issue at a local station after diesel and unleaded were mixed for some filling up their tanks. Spokesman Tom Mahaney said, On the bright side, it gave people the opportunity to make unnecessary and awkward fart jokes about us as opposed to the uncomfortable jokes we normally hear. <laughs> Thank you. 
Local restaurant Hibachi Grill was closed recently due to an infestation of cockroaches. The cockroaches released this statement saying, yay, more for us. <laughs> successful Ozark Empire Fair at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds this summer, with fair organizers testing a new slogan this year. The fair, like Walmart, only sweatier. <laughs> it was so hot at the fair this year, many of these colors don't run shirts actually began to run, resulting in red, white, and blue sweat stains. <laughs> It was so hot at the fair, the Pineapple Whip Hula Girl took her skirt off to the delight of a nearby Boy Scout troop. <laughs> it was so hot at the fair, carnies were seen drinking from the Lions Club duck pond. <laughs> In other news, between the celebrity photo scandal and local tornadoes recently, it's been a tough week to be a cloud. <laughs> The iconic green brontosaurus was recently stolen from Fun Acre Miniature Golf Course, only to be returned later by the thieves as they realize how excruciating it is to eat out with a vegetarian. <laughs> a small fire erupted at Springfield Landfill this Saturday evening, but local firefighters were able to contain the blaze before any damage was done to nearby garbage. <laughs> Christian County announced the purchase of an MRAP, a mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle that had been under use by the U.S. Army. Now, some question the necessity of this in Christian County. Here to comment on that is the sheriff of Christian County. <laughs> sheriff? <laughs> Thanks for having me, Sarah. I appreciate it. <laughs> I can't believe that people think that we don't need a mine-resistant, ambush-protected vehicle, MRAP, in Christian County. Take off your blinders, people. It's dangerous. <laughs> just, to, just to prove my point, how about we go through just one week of the police blotter, and I can tell you how the MRAP was important. Let me give you the police blotter. <laughs> All right, um, how about this one? A dog got out of a fenced-in yard and was barking at people. Uh, yeah, easy. Dogs drop mines all the time. <laughs> if we didn't have an MRAP, an officer would still be trying to get a mine off the sole of his shoe with a stick. MRAP to the rescue! Okay, uh, how about this one? There was a domestic dispute outside of Lambert's. Uh, another easy one. Uh, a regular police cruiser would not be protected in the case of a thrown rolls ambush. <laughs> Those things bounced off like nothing. MRAP, next! All right. Um, a woman called to say that her cell phone had been stolen. Another great time to use the MRAP. We took the mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle and we followed the suspect in hot pursuit. At one point, he turned around and threw the phone at the vehicle. A regular police cruiser would have been damaged in that instance. People do not understand why we need an MRAP, and I think that is not good. MRAP, MRAP, M, everyone, no. Sheriff of Christian County, everybody! <laughs> Cases of rabies are down in 2014 at just 14 compared with 39 at this time last year. Nothing to see here, said the county health inspector, looking an awful lot like a raccoon in a trench coat and glasses. <laughs> A woman was recently arrested for chopping down a tree on the square using a hatchet. The police eventually, however, admitted that a, the wind...
The wind knocked it down. <laughs> and the police chief released a statement <laughs> apologizing, but he looked suspiciously. Oh, I don't even remember the joke. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was like the other one, but whatever. It was the final joke, too. Do it. You do the thing. There's the woman, that's the graphic. And that's the unnecessary news. We'll be back with Cindy Rashevsky from the City Council. Tonight's venue sponsorship provided by BYO Pizza. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hey, we have a great guest tonight, but we also have a great guest sponsor. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it. Rawr. <laughs> Is this on TV? Is this gonna? Is this gonna be on TV? Our guest tonight is a longtime city councilor. Please give it up for Cindy Rashevsky. Cindy. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming on the show. This is kind of scary. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> scary how? Good scary or scary well, scary? Well, you know, I'm not used to being with people who are funny on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a politician. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're probably not used to being a cra with a crowd of people that are supporting you. There's that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not, well, no, no, half. I'm used to half, half being for me and half being again me. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I feel both ways. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Um, is this your first late night talk show appearance? It is. Yeah. So, I'm usually in bed by 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're at your bedtime. That's right. <laughs> do you watch TV in bed or do you just go to sleep right away? Read a book? What do you do? I usually read, play uh, games on the on my little laptop. Yeah? Yeah. What do you play? Poker? Oh, don't even go there. I'll get <laughs> I want a big headline tomorrow. Cindy Rashevsky. Gambler. Gambler. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get about half my constituents right out of the box. That's right. right <laughs> That's right. So you are on the city council, but uh, Obviously, that's a part-time thing. And what do you do for your career? What do you mean, part-time? <laughs> <laughs> that is my career yeah. right now. <laughs> every, every city councilor I've talked to has said, it's so much work. It is. Yeah. yeah. We're glad you're doing it, because you don't get paid for it, right? Uh, no. At least over the no. table. It comes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm kidding. There's not a lot of money. There's not a lot of lobbyists for new sidewalks. No, there you go. <laughs> It comes with a lot of grief and free lunches. Grief That's it. and free lunches. <laughs> That's what you get paid in. That's it. <laughs> I get paid in the same thing, except for the free there lunches. <laughs> and how long have you been on the city council? Almost eight years. Eight years. Right. And is the end coming up for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. In April. In April? <laughs> yes. OK. And. <laughs> You're glad to see me go? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a thank you for your service. All right, OK. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, do you have any, looking back now, as, as you're kind of looking back, do you have any favorite moments or proud achievements you've had on the council? 
Well, it, it's been a lot of uh, ups and downs sure. <laughs> over the years. I'm really happy about what we did with the Police Fire Pension Fund. Yeah. Uh, that was a long haul, and I really, really think that we're on the upgrade now. We're, yeah. we're going to be okay now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's important. Yes. That's great. Well, we actually, this is kind of neat. We have um, a couple of your constituents that have some concerns that wanted to voice them. Oh, good. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this is really neat. This is really neat. So go ahead. Come on out, uh, first citizen of Springfield. Hi, hi, uh, hi Councilwoman uh, Ruszewski. My name's Mike. Um, I, I've got a lot of kids that uh, play around on my lawn a lot, and I was just wondering... Like, when are we going to get some more parks? Would you like to donate your front lawn? We, we can always there you use go. more green space. That's a good answer. All right, next one. Hi, Councilwoman Cindy Terlipinski. Um, <laughs> thank you for all your service to the community. I'm just curious, where have all the cowboys gone? <laughs> not, not too far. Not too far. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Uh, Senator Kelly Kapowski, uh, <laughs> question. We all talked about it, and we think it would be beneficial to the community, but also hilarious to change the name to First Friday Fart Walk, or Erst Friday Fart Walk, because then it's the same budget for typography. You just move the F, and it's important. So could you just? Whatever the public wants. OK. Hey, she's you heard good. It. You heard it. She's good. Let's do one more. One more concerned citizen. Excuse me, Sheriff Krasinski, there's a squirrel stuck, stuck in my microwave. Let me give you the mayor's home phone number. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Cindy She's good. We'll be right back with the music of Spin Rad. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by Springfield Improv. Hi. We have come to the end. Almost. We have a great musical guest tonight. Please give it up for Spinrad.
job, good job. Good job, that was great. How about these guys? Let's check over here with Gary, our illustrator. Gary, tell us what you have created. <laughs> it's you getting attacked by a face hugger. It's yeah. <laughs> Say it one more time. Oh, it's you getting attacked by a face hugger from Alien. Perfect. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? That looks great. That <laughs> Thank you. Is that what I look like? Yes. <laughs> cool. that's, that's for you. That's from me to you. Yeah. So we're like friends now. I like it. We've bonded. <laughs> All right. And that's our show, folks. Just wanted to let you know that in memory of my cousin David, 10% of tonight's box office proceeds will go to the Humane Society of Southwest Missouri, and we are happy to do it. We'll be back next week. See ya. Big Whiskey is the official caterer of the Mystery Hour.